Hello and welcome to another session of our Java tutorials. Today we are going to create a game called Rock Paper Scissors. In this game, the player plays against the computer by choosing random numbers between 1 and 3, representing rock, paper and scissors. Now let us build our logic and see how to implement it. Well, let us first start by initializing the scanner class to get user input. Uh, so we will import the scanner package uh, so that we can use its methods. So let's say scanner in input. So we create an object called input, and then say name, and then scanner, and then system dot in to capture the user input. Uh, so let's import the package. So this is the package that the scanner class comes from this package. And then now let us create a variable. Uh, we can call it player choice that will store the player's move. And we will say, uh, you can say here, in, we make it type int. So int and then player and then choice player choice let's initialize it with zero and then we will have to create another variable as well because uh, the player will be playing against the computer so we need a variable and we can call it computer choice to store the, the random number that it will be generated by the computer between one and three and we will use a method called math dot random to generate a number between zero and one of type double so we will have to convert the number uh we'll cast it to int so we will say int and let's call it this variable computer computer choice okay computer choice equals to and then we'll need this math math dot run dot random and then it will generate a number between uh, between zero and one. So, and because it's we have to multiply it by three because rock paper scissors have one representing rock and two representing paper and three representing scissors. So we multiply by three, three and add one. All right, and add one. And then from there, we cast this double, it will return double. So we need to cast this into int. So we cast that into int, put a semicolon here. So now we have uh, uh, something, we have to remove this one. Yeah, that's, that's it. And then let us now create uh, two variables that will store the value, whether it is the player uh, decides to choose rock or paper or scissors and it will be of type string uh, because it's a rock paper or scissors is string string word and we will make it empty string so let's start with the first one and say uh, string and then let us call it uh, player player string okay say player string and it's an empty string so we put empty string like that and then the second one is a string string and then this is computer string computer string and then we make it also empty and then the second one, so we're done now with the two variables so now the player is prompted to choose one of the three options by entering a number between one and three the player's choice is stored in the player's choice variable. Now it's important to understand the rules of this game. Um, so for number one, number one, uh, if rock, you have to know that rock beats, beats scissors, okay? So that's rule number one. Rule number two, let me comment this out. Rule number two, scissors beats paper. Scissors beats paper, okay? And rule number three, paper beats rock. 
So once you know these rules, then it will be easy to understand this game. So, all right, so let's continue. So let's uh, let's sys out here, sys out, and then uh, list the game of so rock, paper, scissors. All right, and then we prompt the user to enter either rock or paper or scissors. So we say enter one for rock enter one for rock two for pepper or three or three for scissors and that's it and then whatever the user enters we store it in the players player choice variable so we say player and then choice equals to so we use this method to read what the so this is the object and then we call this method call next int to read the integer that the user entered if it's one or two or three all right so we do like that and then now we will need uh, if statements to see if the user enters one or two or three then then if it's one you say rock if it's two you say pepper so we say if player choice you can copy this here equals to one then if it's equals to one then player string which is this one player string equals to rock all right as simple as that equals to rock and then else if we put else if and then player choice equals to two then player string paper equals to paper so you like this one player string equals to paper paper like that and then we put another else if here else if player choice we can copy all of this actually so paste it here else if player choice equals to three then player string equals to scissors so you can copy this here and replace it with this one and then uh, now we can use the if statement to get the ones for for the computer so we say we will repeat the same thing so i can as well copy all of this like this and then come down here and player choice will be replaced by computer choice you can copy this paste it here Paste it here, paste it here, and then computer string, paste it here, computer string, computer string. Show all little scissors, all right? And then we can do a sys out here. We can say, uh, hold on a second, we can say sys out, and then we print out the player choice. So player chose and then plus so you read what is in this variable called player string all right so say plus player string and you add another plus and put and computer choice computer chose and then plus the variable which stores computer choice which is computer string paste it there and that's it you can put a full stop if you want to just like that 
Uh, so after printing, after we finish printing out this player string and computer string, the next thing we need to do is to to compare whether the if the player string is equal to uh, the computer choice. If the computer choice and the player choice are equal, then it's a tie. Otherwise, we prompt the computer to go through each string and determine whether the player won or the computer won. So first of all, let's remove this here. It should be down here. And then let's use a lot of if statement down here and say if, and then player choice, which is this one. If the player choice equals to computer choice, which is this one, then put this curly braces and say sys out, sys out, and then it we just print out on the console that it is a tie all right else if this is not the case then we say else if and then uh, we can copy this uh, computer choice uh, player choice is here let's say else if player choice equals to one for rock and we use this logical and these two ampersands and computer choice which is this one computer choice and computer choice equals to three and then we use logical or which are represented by these two vertical looking lines uh, we copy this again. Let's say player choice equals to two, and we use again the logical and say and computer choice equals to one, and then we use logical or. Uh, so if it's computer choice equals to one or three and then two or one so the last one will be um, will be player choice player choice equals to three and we can actually come down here because I can bring this down here so we can bring this down here or this is logical or player choice equals to three and computer choice which is this one equals to two i will explain what this means guys okay. just a second so and then you say sys out this is the only scenario that the player will win. A any other scenario, the computer will win. So we tell the user, you win. So what this means is we go back to the rules. Rock beats scissors. Rock is one. Scissors is two. So rock is one. Scissors is two. So if the player chooses one, which is rock, and the computer chooses three, which is scissors, and we know that uh, rock beats scissors, then the player has won. The same case for this scenario and this other scenario. Any other scenario, the computer will always win. So we just put another else. And then say sys out computer wins. Computer wins. And that's the end of the game. And we can now save this and let's try if it is working. So we run it. And let me put this up. So it's a rock, paper, scissors. Enter one for rock, two for paper, 
and three four scissors so let's enter one and let's see if we win uh, so guys that's how you create this game of rock paper scissors and if you have any questions please post it in the comment section thank you so much and i will see you next time